Welcome back to the unofficial guide to NDI online course. In this video, we're going to look at the NDI tools and the most popular software used with NDI. So as you can see here, we are moving right along. We've talked about what is NDI. We've given a brief history and talked about IP video. Now it's time to dig into the most popular NDI software. From there, we're going to look at how the Stream Geeks use NDI in our studio and start to dig into some of the most important networking portions of NDI and some of the things you need to consider to be successful with NDI. From there, we'll do some deep dives into some of the software we're going to talk about in this segment, including OBS and vMix. Then, as you see, as we kind of keep going down here, we will go into each of the most important NDI tools and show how they work. Now, when we're looking at the NDI tools, once you've stepped into this NDI ecosystem, you're going to find that there's a growing number of hardware and software integrations available that you can use to improve your workflow. And these software tools and hardware solutions are offered from many different developers. So NDI themselves offer these, these tools, which are very awesome and will review what they do, but there's also many developers out there who create their own solutions for NDI, and whether it's for graphics or overlays or video production and communications, we'll go over some of those and how they work. Now, just to familiarize yourself with these NDI tools, the first one is called Studio Monitor. That is a monitoring tool that you can use to view NDI video sources. The next is a VLC plugin. VLC is a very popular video tool that can be integrated into NDI to be used for viewing and uh, streaming NDI video. There's an NDI screen capture app, which is available in the traditional version and the high efficiency NDI HX versions. Screen capture is probably one of the most popular applications. It's very popular in esports and it's very popular for anyone doing video production that just wants to capture video from a screen and show it up into a video production software or on a display. A perfect example in a house of worship is a pastor has a laptop, he's got his PowerPoint slides, and we want to be able to capture the content of that screen and bring it into maybe a video production, a live stream, or display it on some screens. Another example in eSports, you've got maybe a three-on-three eSports -three e game. You want to capture all six of those screens and send them over the local area network back to a computer that's going to create a production of the event. Just a couple examples of screen capture. Next, we have uh, NDI uh, HX driver. That is a driver that allows some NDI high-efficiency products to work. Uh, we have the Adobe Creative Cloud plugin, which is really great for video producers, allowing for real-time output from Adobe Creative Cloud applications, which is great for previewing uh, projects and it's become very popular in the production space. We have NDI Webcam Input. And Webcam Input, we will do a deep dive on as well as Studio Monitor and uh, the screen capture applications. But NDI Webcam Input allows you turn any NDI video source into a webcam, a usable webcam driver on your Mac or PC computer, allowing you to bring NDI video into Skype, into Zoom, into GoToMeeting, into any application that uses a webcam. Now, NDI Access Manager, we will look into in depth. NDI Access Manager is a security solution that allows you to secure who has access to which NDI sources on your local area network. It's an important tool, especially for larger organizations that are using NDI. We have uh, NDI import access uh, IO for Creative Cloud, uh, the screen capture, and then some test pattern tools. So that's what you're going to get in the tool pack that has some minimum system requirements that you should look at. Next, we have like some of the most popular streaming software solutions. And NDI at this point has been integrated into most all live streaming solutions. vMix, Wirecast, OBS, Livestream Studio, 
Mimo Live, TriCaster, Wowza, XSplit, Medicam. The one, the one that I'll put an asterisk on is that OBS, which is the world's most popular live streaming software, is open source. NDI is royalty free. So and OBS does require a plugin to make NDI work, but it's a free plugin that will enable N, uh, OBS to use NDI both inputs and outputs. We'll take a look at that in a deep dive chapter coming up soon. And then we have some graphics solutions that are becoming very popular. Pro Presenter, Easy Worship, Panimation, Resolume, Sportscast. These are software solutions that output graphics into a larger NDI video production system. NDI has made the ability to bring video into these systems much easier than it was before with HDMI and capture cards. Pro Presenter, for example, is a professional presentation software popular for um, higher end productions where you want to have graphics and overlays and the capability of integrating into live musical production systems, for example. So the graphics systems we'll take a quick look at. There's a lot of NDI enabled hardware. And we looked at the PTZ Optics NDI cameras as a one example but there's a lot of different NDI solutions we'll look at. Magewell creates some amazing NDI encoders and decoders, which again, will take those traditional HDMI and SDI uh, cabling and convert it to an IP connected uh, video production system. Uh, Sony, Panasonic, HuddleCam HD, who announced the very first NDI webcam. Uh, New tech, there's even NDI tally lights that we will take a peek at in an upcoming chapter. Now in the communication space, Microsoft Teams has a very nice integration with NDI. Uh, NeuralNet has a solution called Live to Air that we use here in our studio. Skype for content creators. And basically any solution that supports a webcam can be used with NDI using that NDI webcam input. And then of course, we'll look at the smartphone apps. So just briefly, again, just trying to show you what these applications do. Studio Monitor can be used on any Mac or PC computer to quickly display an NDI video source. We're going to go over this in detail in a complete video to really outline what this application is capable of. But once you install it, it can quickly discover all the NDI sources on your local area network. There's a long list of features, but most importantly, you can view an NDI source. If the source is a PTZ camera, you can take PTZ camera controls. And you can remotely control Studio Monitor with a web server, uh, which we're going to dig into more in an upcoming chapter. So it's a free tool, quickly and easily display NDI sources on a television, on a computer, on a different space. Now, NDI webcam input is that small utility. It runs in the system tray. So it's meant to be out of the way. You barely even know it's running. It's just in the corner. And it allows you to say, hey, I want this NDI source to be available as a webcam inside of Zoom, inside of Skype, inside of different software solutions, anyone that really supports a webcam. So very easy. A lot of these NDI tools kind of live in the background and enable you to do things with IP video that really were never available before. Now, NDI screen capture, another one that kind of just lives in the background. It's, once it's installed, it can capture uh, the screens of multiple monitors on your computer and a webcam source. So again, thinking of eSports as a great example, you've got a, a, a student or a professional athlete playing video games. You want to capture their screen and possibly a webcam that they have connected to their computer. Turn those into NDI sources and display them up on a monitor or integrate them into your video production software. As I mentioned, there is a new high efficiency version of screen capture, and we will talk about why you might want to use that if you're bandwidth limited, or you're just working with lots and lots of NDI sources and you find it smoother to have these higher, more efficient versions of NDI. Uh, you can see here that you have the ability to switch between the bandwidth, resolution, frame rate, and a few other really great solutions. In fact, I should mention that screen capture, and we'll go over this in an upcoming chapter, also includes KVM controls. KVM is basically keyboard and mouse controls so that you can remotely take control 
of a computer running screen capture, very valuable. And a lot of people don't know these smaller details about the NDI tools. If you're running screen capture on a computer and you enable KVM controls from another computer on your local area network, you can use Studio Monitor to view everything that's going on on that computer and you can use your keyboard and mouse to go ahead and log in and take control, which is handy when you're doing this type of IP video technology. Now, Adobe Creative Cloud is really powerful for those who use Adobe. It allows you to output your project, whether you're working in Premiere Pro or After Effects, and show it to somebody else on your local area network via an NDI output. So very good for previewing video. We talked a little bit about Access Manager, and this is that application you can use to create groups of NDI sources and control the distribution of those sources. NDI video sources are meant to be discoverable on your local area network, which is powerful because as you start to add video sources on your local area network, you want to be able to access them from anywhere. But for many organizations, you might not want students or various members of the faculty or other employees in a corporate network to be able to access all of these video streams on your local area network. And the Access Manager allows you to create public and private groups to control who can see which groups of solutions. Now, here's just a few of the you know, software solutions and manufacturers that you may know about already. This list is hundreds and hundreds of vendors long. I just chose a few here that we work with and we'll highlight throughout this course. Software and then hardware solutions. So hardware solutions, a little different. Software running on a computer, hardware is an actual product, whether it's a camera or an encoder or a display or a webcam that's physically connected and via Ethernet to your network. Maybe it's even powered over Ethernet and it becomes part of the NDI ecosystem. Now, um, that is uh, moving us to video communications and many video communication solutions already support NDI natively. And if they don't support it natively, they do support it via the NDI webcam input. So the key takeaways, NDI tools are available for free. So download them, get them on your PC, and just know they do become better. There are updates, and as a major update, let's say from 4.0 to 5.0 happens, it's worth uh, upgrading and getting those new tools. There's a large number of software developers that are using NDI, and that is because NDI is royalty free. Anyone can create a NDI software solution and they don't have to pay any royalties or anything to use it. There's a large number of hardware developers that are actually creating products. And these products are truly replacing the industry standard of HDMI and SDI and allowing us to do so much more with IP video. NDI video can be used with any application that uses a webcam. So that really opens up the door to pretty much any video production solution. And then NDI video can also be used with smartphones using a Wi-Fi network. So that gives you an idea of some of the tools. And of course, we're going to be going into a deeper dive into these various tools uh, later on in this course. So I'm excited, guys. Now we're going to dig into what a local area network is and the nuts and bolts of networking so that you can set this up and be successful with NDI. I'll see you in the next video.